Hi, good evening. Um, let's see, my latest episode of Never Not Knitting got such a crazy number of comments and likes and new subscribers. I am now over a thousand subscribers on this channel, which is insane. So I'm so grateful. This weekend, we are going to a basketball tournament in Cape Cod. That's a long couple hour drive, hour and a half, if the weather's okay, drive, or if the traffic's okay, not the weather. Um, it's time in the hotel, not a lot of time. There is a lot of, you know, hanging out with other families and parents and stuff, um, but there's a lot of time in the car. And normally I would be like, okay, I'm gonna pack seven projects and I'm gonna try to get it all done and do a ton of them. But what I decided to do was pull out one, just one, and work on it for the entire weekend. And only that. I'm not going to bring anything else. I'm going to bring one project. I'm going to commit to bringing only one project. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to bring my no frills pullover. Um, I'm going to measure it and I'm going to put a marker where I am right now. So here is, let me move that marker. Here is that marker, right? Okay, that's how far I am, not far at all. And I'm only gonna knit on this until we get back on Sunday. And let's see how much I can get done. And I'll take you along with me You'll see some family things, you'll see some basketball, you'll see the kids and travel and a little bit of knitting. So I'm gonna start now. I was working on this cute little sock for Charlotte and it's adorable, um, but I'm at the point where I need to keep trying it on her foot. So I'm reading a book. Um, I'm probably gonna go to bed in the next half hour or so. It is Thursday night. I am gonna put this sock away I'm going to read my book for a little while and then I am, I'm going to immerse myself in one project for the weekend. That's it. It's the only one I've got. Not taking anything else with me. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Hello. It is... Friday morning, I have a doctor's appointment this morning and it's in the city, so I left early um, because I was afraid I was gonna hit traffic, um, but I didn't. So now I have a good 45 minutes and I only brought my sweater with me. So um, I, I forgot I had some laundry to fold last night, so it took a little bit longer, but I, I knit, I don't know like five rounds or so um, last night and uh, now I'm going to have a party. Happy Friday. Okay, it's Friday night. We, it's 8.45, we just arrived in Cape Cod. Ben is helping Charlotte get unbuckled and I knit on my sweater the whole time. So I will give you a little glimpse of what it looks like. Welcome. I don't know, maybe it doesn't look that different. Probably... Where are we, Char? Um, when are we staying here? Yeah, we're at the hotel. We're gonna go and uh, bring all our stuff in in a little while, okay? And then we're going in? Yeah. Are you gonna share a bed with me? Are we gonna snuggle? Yeah! It's gonna be so good! Ben, come say hi! Sure, you can be with me! Say hi, Ben! Ben can come with me! I'm not here! Pickles!
Happy Sunday. It's uh, Sunday night. It, not even, it is Sunday at 4.30. <laughs> it feels like midnight. Um, we got back this afternoon from Cape Cod where we were at Harrison's basketball tournament. And um, it was a really great weekend, but it is exhausting. I got home and forced myself to get up, unpack, start some laundry and get on my bike where I rode close to 13 miles, which is great because I missed my bike this weekend to get enough miles for my um, fundraiser that I'm doing for the Alzheimer's Association. Um, yeah, basketball was good. The team, uh, it was their last weekend together. So that's always kind of a bummer. And, um, you know, they played really well. They played against some hard teams, harder teams than we've faced all season. So it's kind of a bummer to end the the time together that way, but it was also great because they got to spend so much time together gallivanting around the hotel all weekend long. Um, I'm so tired. Lots of late nights and early mornings and lots of travel. So I am looking forward to an easy evening. Michael just took the kids, uh, my husband just took the kids down the street to the park and I was finishing up my bike ride, took a shower and I just fixed some dinner. So I figured while I, while they were gone, I would show you my progress on my sweater. 
So it's funny because I was thinking, I'm not even sure in the first video where I talked about what I was gonna do, I'm not even sure I sh like shared the information about this sweater. So this is the No Frills Pullover by Petite Knit. The No Frills Sweater, No Frills Pullover, I don't know. And I am using yarn from Hedgehog Fibers. It is Hedgehog Fibers Tweety in, oh my God, my clip, hold on. I'll probably cut that out. <coughs> It's Hedgehog Fibers Tweety in the colorway Bliss. And um, I only brought this with me. And it was funny because on the ride there on Friday night, I was feeling a little anxious. Um, you know, it was, it was a day. Like it was, a, I had a doctor's appointment that morning. I worked all day, came home and packed, got all the kids, did all the things, and then had to get in the car, but hadn't eaten anything. And it was kind of just a lot. And I think that I was feeling really unsure of my decision to only bring one project with me. I even turned to Michael on the, on the ride and I said, I've never ever gone away for a weekend and only bought one project. And he was like, cause I usually have like 97. So I think he was probably happy. Um, so I was a little anxious about it in the car on the way there. It was about an hour and 45 minutes. I think that if I had to guess, I probably got about six or seven hours of knitting time this weekend into the sweater. And uh, I think it's, I think it shows. Um, I had moved my little marker here. And now I'm there so I think that that's like a pretty decent amount of knitting um it makes me real happy so here's the sweater it's a really long raglan with some really nice short row shaping in the back for it to go up a little higher um I knit in the car. I knit back and forth to all the games. I knit a little tiny bit at the hotel in the in the room. I knit at the pool on Saturday. And um by by today on the way home, I wasn't thinking anything about reaching for another project. So I think that this was a really good process for me. I had started a new ball of yarn. So, I mean, I could weigh this. I probably, I could weigh this and find out how much I actually used. Maybe I'll do that, put it at the bottom. Overall, I'm really happy. Um, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knit tonight on this and um, I'm gonna read. I'm, I'm in a good reading spot. So over the weekend, I did finish um, fourth wing and then I promptly purchased and started reading the sequel Iron Claw so I'm not far into it um, but I'm I'm excited to be reading again and and it's really good so um, I'll take you around for the rest of our evening and I hope you have a really great day bye okay so Monday morning editing Justine here um, last night did not go as planned we all were just so tired. I think that the um, the time change and the weekend just really caught up with us. So I went to bed early and barely knit, but I did do something I wanna share. Um, first, I'm such an idiot. The name of the book that I'm reading is not called Iron Claw. I don't know what an Iron Claw is. It's called Iron Flame. Um, so that was dumb and um, the little, I also weighed what I have left. So this was a full skein and I have about 50 grams left. So I think that's pretty great. I knit 50 grams of my yarn. Um, and I also did, I went ahead and I put some markers in at every inch. So I also measured, I, met, I knit four and a half inches this weekend while we were away. So I'm now one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half inches into the body. Um, and that makes me really happy. I'm really pleased with the progress. 
I think this sweater's going really great and I don't want to put it down. So I think that this really, this part of the process was really great for me. So I'm going to um, say goodbye here. I'm going to go put this episode up on YouTube, edit it, and um, keep working on this sweater. So I hope everybody has a great day. I hope that this video was something that you were, that you enjoyed and let me know in the comments um, if you'd like to see more things like this. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.